Standard Production Coach software. This is designed uh, to help us with the flow of information from the office down to the shop floor and help us fit product together and also help us manage into the shipping area. If you look at the left hand side right here, you'll see there's some work orders. And if you look down here, there's service work orders, which is blank right now, and completed work orders. The work orders has actually come from the design software. The design software could be uh, any of the major ones, Microvellum, uh, Cabinetware, Cabinet Vision, and of course the WoodCAD Cam. If you notice when I click on the work order, it's showing me a description of the cabinets, the description of the cabinets that's in that order. And then from this, from the office, and this is the office screen, so this would be where we were at. The allocation here is going to help me determine where I'm going to put it at. If I click on the allocation table, you can see now this is actually different positions. It could be a pallet, it could be a position on the floor, it could be a cart number, whatever. But I'm allocating those cabinets to a position. And then once I have them allocated, if I wanted to, I can then select those and I can kit those together and that kit then would also have a kit label which I could utilize for shipping or tracking throughout the shop floor. And at this point you can see this one, the status of this job is it's nothing's ready. It's ready it's ready for production. This one here you can see is in production and you can tell where at or how much of it's done and where it's ready for it in the production area, including what I need to do to finish it off. And you can see in here, this is this is assembled, this is this is through assembly, and there's different choices here. Um, assembled, inspected, so this means inspected means it's basically kitted. Assembled means he's put it together here and put a label on it and the station after the case plant would be prepared to ship. And then you have a shipping station as well which isn't listed on here right now. If I had purchased in or let's say non-produced parts, fillers, um, extra shelves, things like that for a job, those would be in this area and I could also have a kit and a label for those so we can make sure those get with the job as well. This is basically the information that you set up in the office and send down to the saw or send down to the shop floor. Now remember, all this is is helping us manage the information, eliminating paperwork, eliminating um, the questions, and we'll go through other stations and see how that helps us out. Now remember on the status, this shows that we were cutting, we had kidding and assembly. The cutting is actually started when that saw starts cutting the job, it's actually directly feeding back to this software. We don't have to scan anything there. The controller has PPS feedback loop on it, which is tied directly to this. So it knows when those cutting patterns for that job are cut in real time. Okay? I know that. Yep. All right. So, in our cell, with our manufacturing speed and velocity, we don't need to know that it's at the edge pander or at a drilling machine or at a, 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 another machining center. But there are some customers that might have um, buffer zones in between there. And if I have those buffers, I might want to have a scanning station in each one of those machines so I know where these products are at in my shop. Or I could kit to a cart and I would want to know where that cart is at. In our case, because of our flow to the system, as the parts come, they're finished machining, they come to the system, we can take the barcode, scan the component part, and then this will flash and tell us what section to put it in. So I know the part, the last part scan, what position number 22. When all the parts for that are done, I get a green light. The blue is telling me, 
there's six of eight. And if I want to, I can put this, put that, and I can see I'm missing my top and my bottom right now. So if I needed to get that cabinet specifically done, I can go to position number 20. And we can identify the cabinet number on our label. I can look now for cabinet number four parts back in there where my machine parts are at. Get those machines and finish that cabinet off. And we're going to clean up this side of the rack. Let's come around to this side. And we're using this rack as a flow through style rack. And you'll notice there's a lot more greens over there. Yeah. And the reason being is, well, I have all the parts for this kit. I don't have all the parts for the cab. We have a second kitting rack with the doors and the drawers in it. So if the doors and the drawers are not ready yet, we don't get a green light because we can't pull it. We don't, it would stop over there on the roller, exactly. So that's what this side is. Now, you notice there's a damaged part there. So if I inspect it, look at it, see it's damaged, I can then put damaged part, scan it, that will give me a damaged part report. I can process that because that's back in the office immediately. I can either dump that back into an optimization. I can manually send a signal, a, a, a message to the saw and say, hey, cut one of these parts. There's a lot of different ways I can handle that, and now we have a clear routing of the information for damaged parts. It's not just a black hole anymore for that information. Okay. The next station that we can utilize in the production coach app is at the pre-assembly. So we're pulling those parts out, and we're going to pre-hardware them here. And if I have a station set up, when I pull that, it tells me what kind of hardware to utilize for that cabinet. And I can see what that cabinet looks like, so I understand if there's two doors, one door, so I can start pulling. Or if it's a door bank, I can pull four doors wide or whatever and do that quickly and easily. The other area and where we're utilizing this at is at the assembly table. And what this does is, now, the guy assembling the cabinet can quickly see what that cabinet's supposed to look like. Now our boxes are pretty simple. So it's not perfectly necessary, but there's many times I'm doing a complicated bookcase or a nursing station or something like that, and this part of the production coach will be much more valuable than that in my book instance. And you can see now, I've highlighted my left side, and I'm going to tell it to hide that, and now I can see a side view of that and see the relationship of all my parts. If I wanted to see the doors. So I can see it from that view as well. And of course I can rotate this in 3D, I can do whatever I want to it, you know, to see it whichever angle. So it's very flexible and very powerful then. So I see all the parts I'm supposed to be utilizing and all my hardware at one time at the assembly station. Now, the other thing we do here is once that cabinet is done, we scan a part on that cabinet. So we do scan at that point? And now we're actually generating a cabinet label for that specific cabinet. That's assembled. So that identifies the elevation or job and what cabinet is and the size of that going down through the system. As I mentioned, we had the king right there and out two sides. And on this side, we have another kitting rack, and this is for the doors, drawers, and, and drawer boxes. And again, you'll see more green here because I might have more doors over here than I have cabinets ready, so those doors are ready. I've got all the parts I need for that cabinet for that, in that slot, but I might not have all the, all the doors in that yet, okay? So now with that, Part, part label and things come down through here, the part comes out. Once the cabinet's at this station, I scan it with the scanner there, it tells me what slot to pull that from. So now I get my doors and my drawers for it. I can also see the hardware on it on that screen there. This screen is utilized for my shipping. 
So once I'm done with the cabinet, I've got my doors and doors on it, I scan that cabinet again, and now it's giving me my allocation where it goes to, gives me my kit, and that's also how I know that it's ready for shipping. And if you look on the floor over here, we have a couple of different zones. Zone one, zone two, and oh, okay. that's how he knew where to put the cabinet at from that allocation. So these are now kitted together as an elevation or as a pallet or however the customer decides. It's very flexible. It could be shrink wrap. It could be however they move it through. And then that kit can then be taken to their shipping area. And when that goes on the truck, that can be scanned. And I now know it's on the truck for shipping. So that's the production coach and how we utilize it in our system.